every time you hear sounds, something is vibrating. Right now, my vocal cords are vibrating, causing the air to vibrate, in turn making something inside the microphone vibrate, and at your end, the loudspeaker in the television set is vibrating, causing the air in your room to vibrate, which causes the eardrums in your ears to vibrate, and you hear my voice. Okay, let's create some vibrations of a different sort. I have here a wooden skewer, and if I flick the end, we should make it vibrate. Maybe you'll hear something. Listen carefully. Did you hear anything? Not much. The trouble is, there wasn't very much air vibrating. However, if we take that same wooden skewer and press it against a matchbox, empty matchbox, listen this time. Easier to hear because now the matchbox is vibrating as well. If I hold the same wooden skewer against a piece of cardboard, the vibration is much easier to hear. And if I put it over the edge of the table, that vibration is almost becoming a musical note because now the whole surface of the table is vibrating just a little bit. Let's try a coffee stirring stick. And another musical note. Plastic ruler. Metal ruler. And a steel saw. And we create a whole lot of musical notes each time partially because those things were vibrating and partially because we were causing the whole table to vibrate. Keep that in mind as we look at an ancient record player. Now you've seen record players today, haven't you? With electric motors and all sorts of fancy electronic gadgetry to amplify the sound. This one had none of that. It was made about 30 years ago and if you open it up, it looks as if nothing's there. They forgot to put the works inside. That's where you place the record. And the record looks fairly normal. It looks like a 45 record. In fact, it's a 78. You have to rotate it at 78. It sits on the turntable there. No motor to switch on. You need to use a wooden skewer or a pencil, put it in that little hole there, and try and turn it at 78 revolutions per minute, like so. You might say, where's the needle? Well, if you turn over the cardboard lid, you find a tiny little needle poking down there. And it's that that will pick up the vibrations in the wavy line within the record. Now, the front of this booklet thing is a sheet of cardboard, and that's vitally important. If it weren't for that, you wouldn't hear anything. But when the needle vibrates in the groove, it'll cause the whole of this to vibrate. And if you listen very carefully, you may be able to hear a sound. You may be able to work out what nursery rhyme it is. Have a listen. I'll put the needle in the groove. And then the skewer in place, hold it down and try and rotate it around about 78 revs per minute. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a bird in the sky. Where the blazing sun has gone, where the nothing shines upon, then you shall go to light. Twinkle. Twinkle, all the night. Right, and in case you didn't realise, it was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Well, this was developed about 30 years ago as a child's toy, but they're still being used in many countries of the world by missionaries where they don't have electricity. And they find that they're able to use these to communicate words and music to people who otherwise would be without that form of sound. Mm -hmm.